Okay, this is how we can import data from Excel into R. So I'm going to look at my Excel file and I'm going to put my cursor in uh, the steps row and then I'm going to do um, copy and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into R and I have to open up the um, the R script so tutorials okay so here it is right. and uh, here's my R script and at the beginning of the R script are the function definitions I want to run those so I'm going to highlight those and uh, so I highlight them and then I press control R and if you don't want to do control R maybe there's another way of doing it let's see no I guess you have to do control R okay so control R will run the line so then we so we've we've run we've we've um, run those function definitions you only have to do that once per R session and now we come to the part that you would have to do uh, each time you want to analyze data okay so we look at the variable name and values so the number of prey is five these are the numbers that come from your net logo simulation so we have number of prey is five number of predators one decay rate point three you have to enter that manually the diffusion rate is going from 0.1 to 0.7 by an increment of 0.1. This differs a little bit from the net logo um, uh, syntax would be something like this. Okay, the net logo syntax would look like this. It would be 0 0.1, 0 0.1, and then 0.7. That would be the net logo syntax. Okay, and then you have to put down the number of reps number of reps is two in our in our tutorial so um, if you okay all right now so I'm going to enter these so I'm going to highlight them and then I'm going to run them run line or section or I could do control R and then um, the parameter that varies that's going to be the diffusion rate because that's what's changing so I put my cursor in there and I, I can uh, right click and run line or selection or I can do control R and then I'm going to go down to steps to extinction these when you see a number sign or a hashtag it just means we have a comment so these these are like non uh, compiling lines the steps to extinction equals read Excel row this is the this is the line of code that actually takes the information from the clipboard and uh, puts it into R. So you go into the Excel um, file, you highlight the row, and then you do copy or you could do control C. And then we go back into R and we go back to that line. Make sure I put my cursor in that line. Okay, and then I'm going to run it. And uh, you see over here on the left, you see that the parameter, oops, I put in the wrong line. So it's supposed to go in here, my mistake. So I'm going to do that again. So control R or run or right click. Okay. And so now I put the data into R. If we look at the steps to extinction <coughs> variable, it looks like this. This is the data. <coughs> from the Excel file. See, look, 15, 17, 10, 20. 15, 17, 10, 20. So the data is in there. And now what we want to do is we want to make a data frame out of this because uh, this is for, if you think about it, this is for um, different diffusion rates. The first two is for the diffusion rate of 0.1. The next two is for diffusion rate of 0.2. <coughs> So we um, run this line, and if we want to take a look at that data frame, it looks like this. 
So um, it's the same data as over here, except now it's organized so that the rows correspond to the different diffusion rates. This is diffusion rate of 0.1. This is for diffusion rate of 0.2. The third one is for diffusion rate of, I guess, 0.3, and so on. And then we're going to take the average of the rows. So that's over here, extinction averages. So we run that. And then if you want to look at the, um, if you want to actually look at the averages, so I'm going to make it, I run the next line, and then I run the next line, and over here we have the averages. You can tell that the average length of time to extinction is going down. And now I'm going to plot this, so um, let's see, so the X label is the diffusion rate. This is going to be the for the X axis. This is going to this is just a label. I could put anything here, but uh, I wanted to say diffusion rate. And the Y label, average number of steps to extinction. That's always the case. For the main, that's the title. So the title I want to be diffusion rate versus average time to extinction. This N tells makes this stuff go to the next line. You'll see. I'll explain that in a minute. And then into here, I put down how many prey, how many predators, what's the decay rate and how many simulations, and it's not 100, it's 2. Okay. And um, then I want to run this, and let's see what happens. So there we go. So remember, I, so if you look back to the uh, main, it has diffusion rate versus average time to extinction. That's up here on the top. And then there's an escape character, and then an N that says go to a new line. And so we're, we're at the new line over here. And when you run it for different situations, you should change the prey and the predators according to what, what it's supposed to be. All right, so that's the end of this tutorial.